as Agames uh, Nordea Markets, uh, I could follow up on that uh, uh, upgrade ability. Uh, what was the promise for uh, the consumer that uh, if I'm uh, a previous owner of Windows Phone, will I be able to update to, to new versions of the plat- platform as they emerge, for example, from uh, Windows Phone 7 to Windows 8 or uh, from Mango to, to Windows 8? I think uh, Apple is taking very good care of uh, their customers in this area. So even if you have a, a device that's uh, three years old, you still get uh, platform up to updates. Oh, I think Apple's. You're right. You can download iOS 5 to an iPhone 3G, and it will be it won't be usable, but it is possible to install. So I don't think I you know I that's a, I think that's an it's it's a whole upgrade discussion. It's a kind of a, it's a very abstract discussion. Well. Um, you know, statistically speaking, no Android phones get upgraded. None, ever. They have big bugs, they don't even get patched. That's what we're seeing statistically out there. In the case of Apple, they've shipped OS updates to hardware that makes it unusable. It's a great hardware sales tool, as far as I can tell. Install this OS, which makes your hardware unusably slow, so then you feel compelled to go back to the store and buy a new piece of hardware. And so there's a wide range of things going on in the marketplace. Uh, you know, this is an area where I think the consumer expectations are unfortunately confused. And, uh, you know, we just want to be very, you know, when we announce things, we just want to be very clear about what they are because it just feels like a quite a landmine of consumer expectations versus the messaging, you know, we ultimately deliver. Because even if we were to say all phones can be updated, then you get into the, you know, our business model implies a lot, you know, layers of supply chain to get it out to them, and there's certain incentives to get it out to them and that have to be thought through. So it's, uh, you know, there's nothing to announce there, but I think it's just unfair to say, I think Apple's created a great hardware upgrade incentive system around their OS that needs upgrades.